Hello guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be taking this 2021 Infiniti QX50 on a POV test drive. It's going to be obviously a evening POV test drive. This one is the Autograph trim with all-wheel drive and the MSRP sticker on this one is 61,000. So let's go ahead and take in a test drive and see how it does. Let's go ahead and take this Infinity QX50 on a test drive. As I told you guys, this one is the 2021. And here is the shifter. Let me go ahead and turn on the light so you guys could see. Here is the shifter that will control the CVT transmission in this QX50. Just go ahead and click on a button right here and push it to the back and push it to the front. Here is the reverse camera, and it does have 360 cameras. But let's go ahead and take it on a test drive and see how it does. So driving this QX50, very nice, very quiet in here and uh, steering wheel feels very nice and light but at the same time it's very direct. Love that heads up display right there, it's nice and big and you can see the miles per hour very clear. So for the engine, the engine is a 2.0 turbocharged four-cylinder engine connected to a CVT transmission. Horsepower numbers are 268, torque numbers are 280, and honestly, this engine and CVT, they are great together. There is barely any turbo lag, so when I put my foot down, the car just, uh, the SUV just accelerates. I thought there were going to be more delay because of the CVT, but there is barely any delay in acceleration. Brakes feel nice and solid. But overall, guys, and the interior of this QX50 looks very, very nice. I just love this metal console. Let me go ahead and turn on the light so you guys can see. As I said, I just love the way how it looks and uh, overall looks very, very nice. It does have suede material. The roof or the, um, uh, the, uh, the top portion or the headliner, I should say, um, is actually uh, finished in uh, ultra suede. And those lights are very, very bright. Here is the back. And turning on the lights, makes this interior of this QX50 actually very bright so I like that there are going to be two screens an 8 inch navigation screen and the bottom one is a 7 inch screen and this SUV actually has all the safety features so the adaptive cruise control the lane keep assist and uh, Everything standard, of course, it's expected for from a $61,000 SUV.
I love the fin it fit and finish. The trims look good. There's a little bit of ambient lighting. As I said, guys, this CVT transmission is actually very responsive. Paddle shifters. And those paddle shifters are nice and responsive as well. Let's go ahead and put it in sport mode and do a quick acceleration right here. So in sport mode, it basically makes the uh, gas pedal become more responsive and there is a, this uh, fake noise that comes from the speaker. All cars actually have this fake noise. It just basically makes the um, interior, or it makes you at least feel that you're driving something that is nice and aggressive and just uh, makes driving this SUV more fun just by adding that sound. So I thought the CVT would be not as responsive, but I'm actually really liking the CVT. Uh, well, what, what happens basically, it pushes you back to the seat once and then it keeps pushing you back. And um, it's actually nice. And it does mimic gears basically. It makes you think that it actually it's actually changing gears, but it's not changing any gears. Let's go ahead and open the window here. The glass is... Uh, two glass glued together so it's an acoustic glass very nice and quiet but let's go ahead and do a quick acceleration right here brake boosting so accelerating it's actually nice and it does uh, accelerate very quick uh, but there's a a little bit of turbo lag at first but then the SUV gets going as I said guys it's very very quiet in here and I'm really liking what Infinity is doing not a big fan of those two screens right here in the middle but uh, of course Infinity is going to be changing those two screen uh, a lot of companies are going away from it I Honda went away from it and uh, I'm pretty sure that Infinity is gonna go away from that to dual screen I feel that there is no need for two screens. You could have like uh, some storage place right underneath the main screen up top. So suspension feels nice and soft, but I think because of those 20 inch rims, it's not as comfortable. Well, of course it's livable, but the suspension, it soaks up the bumps really good over potholes and bumps and uh, other things on the road and if you guys are curious about the tire size or the setup uh, they are 255 45 20s and I just love the finish on those rims this one has the panoramic sunroof and actually driving this SUV it's nice but I'm not a big fan of the fake noise that is coming out of the speakers Let's go ahead and put it back in normal mode. Let's go ahead and keep it on eco mode and see if I could notice any difference between standard and eco. Let's turn on the light one more time. I'm gonna go ahead and show you the middle console. There's a good amount of space. Again, this one has the ambient lighting. Very subtle up there, but it's nice and bright here. And just start stop. 
will have the headlight controls all the way to the left, of course. And this one actually has the fog light. Uh, it does have fog lights. And everything is LED right here, so that's nice. Yeah, definitely in eco mode, the SUV becomes very sluggish and uh, the gas pedal becomes very um, basically lazy and of course that's expected from any car. If you guys are curious about the fuel economy numbers, they are 22 in the city, 28 highway and 25 combined. guys that's it for this video i hope you guys liked it i would like to thank sebastian here at george hart infinity in wallingford if you guys are interested make sure to come and check them out i'm gonna go ahead and put the information and link in the bottom of this video and if you guys would like to see more videos like this please subscribe and as always i'll see you next time